The FBI recently announced it would provide Congress with documents related to its investigation of Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server as Secretary of State. Joining us now, Chairman of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, Republican Congressman Jason Chavitz of Utah. Good to have you on Good the morning. show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so, okay. well, why don't we start, uh, Mika, you have the Wall Street Journal I do. editorial. That's what I was we, read. we want to talk about the, uh, the Clintons going out of business cell that we referenced earlier this morning, where you can't influence her after she's president, but if you're a foreign power and you okay. want to give money now to the Clinton Foundation, got a three month going out of business cell. So the Wall Street Journal says now the Clinton, the Clintons tell us, now they tell us, after years of claiming that the Clinton Foundation poses no ethical complex for Bill and Hillary or the U.S. government, Bill Clinton now admits the truth, sort of. If his wife becomes president, he says the super PAC masquerading as a charity won't accept foreign or corporate contributions. Bill will also resign from the foundation board and Chelsea will stop raising money for it. Now they tell us, if such fundraising poses a problem when she's president, why didn't it when she was secretary of state or while she's running for president? Their answer is that it did and it does and they know it, but the foundation was too important to their political futures to give it up until the dynastic couple were headed back to the Oval Office. Is it that simple? I mean, if it, I guess my question is, if it's a risk, an ethical risk, after she's president of the United States, why wasn't it an ethical risk when she was running the State Department as America's top diplomat. Well, it, it was. I mean, it's so obvious. It's kind of one of those, oh, well, duh, type of, type of moments. Um, and there's so much intermingling here with the foundation. I mean, it's how she got around Sidney Blumenthal, for instance, right? The White House, President Obama didn't want Sidney Blumenthal involved. So what they do, they just pay him out of the foundation. But, but should, and shouldn't they right now say, stop, we're not going to accept any more money from foreign yeah. powers if they're sending a signal that she, will I, stop three months from now? She should have done that when she was the United States Senator. But when you announce that you're a candidate for the presidency, you change things. And then she should have stepped away from that. And so should her, her husband and her daughter. And they should have created this separation and put a separate board that had no communication. I mean, they're easy things to do, but they chose not to do those things. The FBI just sent you a batch of documents. Have you read them? Uh, um, a lot of them, not all of them. We've got two binders full of, of information intermingled classified non-classified material I've got a couple problems with what we have one is the high level of redactions Hillary Clinton is out there saying there's not very much uh, sensitive information in there that she didn't uh, trade in sensitive classified information it's so sensitive and so classified that even I as the chairman of the oversight committee don't have the high level of clearance to see what's in those materials mm -hmm. I think the documents are overly classified we're gonna call on the FBI this week to give us a version where there's non-classified uh, the unclassified material and the classified material redacted so that that could be out there in the public I think that's the right thing to do do you agree with uh, director Comey and the Justice Department that Hillary Clinton should not be charged, should not be indicted? I don't come to the same conclusion that the uh, FBI director came to, but we have a fundamental problem and challenge. At the State Department, you have a classified email system and you have a non-classified information. How is it that somebody over the course of years, anybody, can take information from a classified system and you don't just forward it, you don't just put it, hey, I'm going to send it to this account. How did they extract that material, put it on thumb drives? Is it a new system? Just under Secretary Clinton? Well, I don't, they've made transitions and upgrades all along the way. Um, certainly email is much more prevalent than it was in Mount and Albright's days, but the system is such that you we've got a major security flaw that's why we keep looking at it off of what you've read off of what you know yeah would you be inclined to pursue a perjury indictment against Secretary Clinton? What I'm stunned is that the FBI director came before Congress and testified that through their year-long investigation, they never looked at the under oath testimony from Hillary Clinton. Are you kidding me? You're doing an investigation about the email scandal and you never look at what she said under oath? I mean, politicians lie, how much but when it, you're under oath, you can't do that. How much does it cost the taxpayers thus far, your investigation? I, I don't know. We spend $4 trillion as a, uh, as a government. The over Site government reform founded in 1814 has a role to see oversee every expenditure and that does cost money are you trying to get this version that you have in the two binders released to the public before the election 
Well, I think they should do it sooner rather than later. I think the public has a right to know. And under FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, it's going to be released anyway. And so we're not asking to release anything they wouldn't do otherwise because it's non-classified material. The other thing that is stunning to me that we found out last night is the FBI gave us one set of documents. And then we asked them, and they were very nice and courteous to give us a second copy in a classified setting. But they're different. So we have a second set of documents that's now different. When you turn them page by page, they're different. I don't know why that happened. What's the difference? Well, we've gone through and there's new information. A lot of this that they claim is classified is just flat out embarrassing. It's not, there's nothing classified about it. It's just embarrassing. It's a lot of immature. So are you suggesting the FBI is protecting like Hillary from embarrassing? I mean, what's the suggestion? I, no, I'm not suggesting, suggesting? And, and ascribing motivation in any but way. What's the I'm just saying theory? when they give us, what's hey, here's, theory? well, here's the full set of documents and then they give a copy by definition that would be the same. Mm -hmm. They're not. Mm -hmm. You start turning the page and suddenly there's new documents, new information in there. And so we're going back to square one. We've only had them for days, mm -hmm. but still the second copy is different than the first copy. Why is that? What, 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 why is it? What do you think? I, I don't know, but it's more information. Mm -hmm. The stuff that we saw in the, in the short time before we got on the train to come up here to be on the show yeah. was, uh, was that it was, it was just flat out embarrassing. It, there was nothing classified about it, name calling, things like that. Mm. Mm. Ooh, who got called names? Well, we release <laughs> the information. You see, you're going to support <laughs> me in releasing this information. We all support yeah. you in releasing the information. Yeah, exactly. we want to That's what it. they really want to see, right? <laughs> who called who right. what? Mr. Chairman, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. And call for them uh, call for them to to stop taking donations today this three month window, here on this show this going out Don't of business sell uh, approach just invites more corruption give it to UNICEF they need the money